Not long ago, six teenage boys would become the real-life Lord of the Flies. This is the incredible true story of how these boys survived living on a remote island for over 15 months in the South Pacific. It's a story with an urgent lesson and a warning for us all. In the summer of 1965, six schoolboys aged 13 to 16 attempted a fateful ocean trek from their South Pacific island of Tonga to Fiji. But the six boys never made their final destination. Instead, they disappeared without a trace. As the days and weeks passed, parents and family members held on in hope. But as search vessels came and went, none of the six boys or their boat would be found. As the months and eventual year passed, the Tongan families put their missing sons to rest in empty caskets and urns. The tiny island nation of Tonga mourned. But to the south, a small miracle was taking hold. The ill-fated voyage on a borrowed boat had not ended in disaster. The six Tongan schoolboys aged 13 to 16 had survived the open sea. After eight days adrift, they had become lost castaways. The boys had found a small island. Innocent, confused, unsure of what would happen next, the boys placed one foot in front of the other and stepped through onto a distant sand. This was the real life and actual Lord of the Flies, where new truths found budding roots on a remote yet familiar land. You see, the outcome of this real life Lord of the Flies story became far different than what many might have imagined. Because this was no Hollywood movie, this was no literary work of dark fiction. In William Golding's book, a downed plane on an uninhabited island, now filled with stranded schoolboys left to their own devices, becomes the catalyst, the metaphor in what would happen if a society was left to evolve innocent and unchecked. The stranded British schoolboys first reveled in their newfound freedom on the tropical island, as the story goes, without school or homework or rules or parents to get in their way. But in the fun of it all, a selfishness and insecurity takes hold. In the fictional Lord of the Flies story, Golding proposes a sad, inevitable fate for us all because of something inherently rotten and already there inside each and every one of us. In Golding's work of fiction, the British schoolboys would split, becoming two warring tribes. The conch shell, first used as a glowing pillar of organization and brotherhood, would go broken eventually in the fatalistic darkness that ensued. Three boys would die and then finally, when rescued, faced with the grim reality of the world they had created all on their own. A boy named Ralph would weep for the end of innocence and the darkness of humankind. But in the real-life Lord of the Flies story, life does not always imitate art. Sometimes, life writes a better ending. Because the most astonishing part of this true tale was not in the still miraculous final destination of it all. 